What in the world happened to Josh Gordon? Welcome back to the channel, Know It Alls. If you're new here, this is a sports talk show that I do with my friend Joey. I'm your co-host, David, and let's get right into it. What happened with Josh Gordon today? Honestly, I did not see this one coming. For the longest, he has been on the Browns for the past three to four years, I believe, and they have stuck with him through thick and thin. I mean, this guy has been riddled with off-the-field uh, issues. He's been... Um, in the league substance abuse uh, policy for to for about two years now, and this guy seemed to just could not get right. And the entire time, the Browns stuck with him. So the fact that they just got rid of him now is very shocking to me because, honestly, if they stuck with him for the entire time he was suspended and now he's finally eligible to play, why did you get rid of the guy now? Like, why... Why not before? It, to me, it doesn't make sense. Again, if you want to make fun of the Browns, it's just like kind of like the Browns doing Brown things. At the end of the day, allegedly, this is what I heard, that Josh Gordon showed up to a practice late on Saturday. It was either a practice or a meeting. And there was fear that he had relapsed or something. Something had gone wrong. They said he was acting funny. And also, he said that he injured his, his hamstring. So he tweaked his hamstring in a non-football-related activity. And apparently, for the Browns, that just was the last straw for them. They said enough is enough. They uh, plan to move on. They're either going to release him or they are going to deal him by 4 o'clock on Monday. I know that there have been 10 teams that have reached out to the Cleveland Browns as far as interest in Josh Gordon. But I know that Josh Gordon stated that he would prefer the 49ers or the Cowboys. So what do you guys think about this? How, how do you think this affects the Browns' season? Honestly, I don't think it derails their season at all, just for the sheer fact that he kind of really hasn't been there. They haven't been really relying on him that much. So it's almost like he, they lose a, a weapon, but he hasn't played much for them. So I don't think they lose a lot. Honestly, it's very sad. You never want to judge a guy. You never know what he's going through in his life. So you, you never know you, until you walk in his shoes. I hope all the best for Josh Gordon. I honestly think that I hope he can get right and I hope he can do what he needs to do to get on the field and actually be an NFL player. Because when he's on the field, there's no doubt he is a top five talent in this league. And if you watch Hard Knocks, Hugh Jackson basically said, you got one shot with me. Once you prove to be dishonest, I'm going to cut you. So you got to respect Hugh Jackson for following through with his word. He said everyone's got one chance, and then once you blow that shot, it's up to uh, the front office at that point. He can't vouch for you anymore. So the Cleveland Browns are deciding to move on. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this move. Let me know if you want to see uh, Josh Gordon on your team. Would you want him on your team? Would you want to take that risk? Do you believe he's worth the risk? Just me, being a Dolphins fan, I personally wouldn't take him just because things are going great for us so far. We're 2-0. and um, Be on the lookout in the future to see a video on that. Uh, I'm going to review the Dolphins game of week two. But yeah, so I think our, our locker room is solid. So just me personally, I don't think the Dolphins should pick him up. But I do definitely agree that there are other locker rooms and other franchises out there that could definitely benefit from Josh Gordon. All right, know-it-alls, that is it. With that, I will see you guys later. Make sure to give us a like, comment down below if you want Josh Gordon on your team or not, and then make sure to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.